If I'm lost along the way, if I wander off onto a different trail, will you forgive me? Hi, y'all. Welcome to Simple Living. I'm Michelle Davenport, your host of the show. Uh, today, we are using three ingredients mini marshmallows, graham crackers, and mini chocolate chips, all vegan. And we are going to make cast iron s'mores. Yep, you heard me right. Cast iron s'mores with three ingredients. Oh my gosh, if you're into simple, then this is the show for you. We are gonna go in the kitchen and we're gonna get to working on this recipe and I'll tell you what, you will not be disappointed. I cannot wait to show you how simple these cast iron s'mores truly are. And they are a big hit in my family. What reminded me is something just came up on my Facebook feed and uh, we had snapped a picture in the moment when all the kids were surrounded at the table diving in to the first time I ever made this. Now today, uh, just suiting with the theme of the whole show, it, I am going to be using a, a small cast iron skillet. So, you, but you can just, I will leave the recipe in the description box below where you can make the regular big 10 inch cast iron skillet recipe as well for your family. But it's just me and my husband today, so I'm just gonna be making the small batch. All right, let's go. Well, <laughs> you know, it's just not quite a, uh, a show without dropping something, a cooking show. So there you go, I've dropped the graham crackers. <laughs> so hopefully they didn't all bust up. All right, let's get into it. Will you forgive me tonight if I'm wrong and you're right? Okay, y'all, let's get ready. This is my little, small, little cast iron skillet. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's perfect for one little sandwich, grilled sandwich, but I think it's going to be perfect for two on the s'mores. All right, first thing you want to do is spray it with some coconut oil or whatever oil you have in your home. I'll spray that pretty good, pretty generous. And then on the full recipe for the 10 inch skillet, cast iron skillet, you're gonna use one cup of chocolate chips and then 16 large marshmallows. And then just how many ever graham crackers you want. You know, it just depends. Do you like a little bit on your graham cracker? Do you like a lot? Because that's how many graham crackers you're gonna use. I'm gonna use a little less, a little shy of a half a cup. We'll see. I'm just gonna cover the bottom. And that seems to do it. Look how cute those are. They're just mini. <laughs> then we're gonna cover the top with mini marshmallows. And then you're gonna put it in a 450 degree oven and you're gonna bake it for this size, probably about five to six minutes, but for the 10 inch, you're gonna bake it for nine minutes. And then I like mine toasted. So if you don't have, um, like a little, I forgot what you call them, a torch. If you don't have a torch to torch the top of them, if you like yours a little crispy, then just turn your oven after they're done baking for five or six minutes if you're doing this size. Then turn your oven on broil and it'll go ahead and it'll char broil the, um, these little marshmallows because that's the way I like it. So I, but I do have a torch, so I'm gonna do it that way. Either way works. So then we're gonna slip it into a 450 degree oven and we're gonna call it good, y'all. I'll be back to do a taste test and I'm gonna tell you what, I, I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't had this. I've had it a few times and we love it. It is so delicious, so easy. And you know, if you're doing an outside um, get together, this is perfect too. So if you don't wanna you know, get out all the forks and stuff to roast the marshmallows on the fire, which that is the fun part of doing that, but it's also equally cool to just bring this whole cast iron skillet out and set it in the middle of the table with a bunch of graham crackers and enjoy that way too. All right, I'll be back. If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail. All right. Mm. 
Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. Maybe a little torching. Here's my little torch. Maybe a little. Just because, ooh, I like them on fire. Perfect. Perfect. My gosh, y'all. Can't wait. All right, cast iron s'mores for what time? <laughs> Any time. You can do this spring, summer, fall, winter. It don't matter. It's going to be delicious. I'm telling you what, it's a, it's an amazing production. <laughs> when you get a big thing, uh, a cast iron skillet, and you make these s'mores and you set it on the table with the crack or the graham crackers at, for dessert, it is such a presentation. It just, it, I have not served this ever and somebody been disappointed. Let's just try this. Here it is. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hope I don't burn myself. <laughs> just came out of the oven. And dessert before lunch? Yes. Yes, we're going to do that today. <laughs> Life's good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. I'm so glad this came up on my Facebook feed <laughs> to remind me to make this not only for my channel, but for me. <laughs> this is delicious. It's crunchy. The, the chocolate melted perfectly. It didn't stick to my little skillet. Now listen, if you make this, you don't have to worry about it, but you need to eat it right away. And there shouldn't be any leftovers. Never have been in my house. But if it starts to get cooled off, the uh, marshmallows will start sticking. Now spray in your pan with some kind of oil, whether it be canola oil or um, coconut oil, whatever your choice is. I wouldn't do olive oil, but that's going to help it from sticking. But listen, if it starts to get cooled off, you want to go ahead and remove any leftovers and put it over in something that's airtight and just save it. I don't think you're going to have that problem. <laughs> and I know I'm not going to have that problem with this mini skillet because I'll tell you what, I could take this out myself. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have a feeling I got chocolate everywhere. But uh, listen, thank you for stopping by Simple Living. You know what I always say, go out there and be willing to be an answer to somebody else's prayer. If you try this, let me know. I just think it would tag me on Instagram or on Facebook or somewhere and let me know you tried it. Three ingredients. It took six minutes. I mean, seriously, you can make this tonight. Come on, y'all. Go ahead, go out there and get and make it because your family's gonna be blessed by it. All right, God bless you. If I'm lost along the way, if I wander off onto a different trail, will you forgive me? If I fail when I'm lost and erased